Hello, thank you so much for joining me today for some balance work and a little mobility. A few things I need from you today is for you to remember that safety is first. If you pick up a leg and you realize that you're a little too wobbly and you are not comfortable, please set that foot down right away. I need you in the kitchen for number two. This will be my makeshift kitchen today but I need a countertop near you. I need something that's anchored to the floor, preferably the counter with the sink on it because we might need to grab with our fingers. Um, and number three, you need to be wearing shoes. I today am not wearing shoes, but that's just because this is where I record my stuff. So imagine I have shoes on by my sink. Are we ready? Safety first, always remember that. Here we go. We're gonna start with some side stepping. So what I want you to do is turn towards your sink. Go ahead and face that countertop. Now whether you place your hands on the countertop or not, that is up to you. It's on your comfort level and your balance. We're going to look down at those feet and make sure that they're right under our hips. I'm gonna face you for this one. So hip bones, straight down to my knees, straight down to those feet. Then you're going to bring those eyes back up. Roll your shoulders back and down and find all of those core muscles. They're in there. You just have to get that squeeze going. Once you have that, we're going to shift our weight to the side, pick up our leg and sidestep. Bring those feet back together and sidestep bringing those feet back together. Now I have a small space to work in here. What I want you to do is work the length of your counter. So we go side to side depending on the length of your counter. So you might still be going one way, whereas my space is little. So I have to shift back and forth. Now as we shift here, I want you to think about loading those feet, okay? So we're gonna slightly lean to one side, pick up our foot, and shift our weight. Bring the other one back under, even out your weight, lean, shift, and even up your weight. That's what we're doing. I want you to continue this sidestepping at your own pace for the next 45 seconds. Good job, how did that feel? We're sidestepping experts now, yes? Also, if any point in time in this video, you want more time in a move, just hit that pause button, okay? Let's go ahead and turn and face our sink. We're gonna place our hands on the counter as an option, but I want you to do that just this first time for me. Place your hands there, make sure that you are within grabbing distance of that counter. So you might wanna step a little closer to it because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a step back. So we're gonna work on that shift. I'm gonna shift my weight to one side, pick up the opposite leg, step back, and come with those feet, placing them back under those hips. But if I kind of get wobbly, I can get that counter still. So we don't wanna make sure, or we want to make sure that we are close enough that we can grab it. So finding that set position that we worked on with our side stepping, rolling those shoulders back and down, core tight, we step back in. And then we're going to switch legs. So my right leg just stepped back, now my left leg steps back, find my balance, right leg leads me back in. 
right leg steps back. Find my balance. Left leg takes me back in. Now if that's just too much, you can stick with one side the whole time. And just go right leg. Now left leg. And left leg takes you back in. Control this step. So don't let momentum push you forward and back. I want those abdominals tight, finding those leg muscles, shifting through your weight, forward and back. As we shift forward and back, making sure that those feet stay in line with those hips. Keep it going for the next 45 seconds. Great job on those steps. I want you to turn so your side is now in line with your counter. Option again is one hand on your counter. Remember, you don't have to. It's up to you. We are going to march in place. We want to find our balance way back in the beginning, like we did. Square those feet up under those knees and hips. Finding our abdominals. Roll your shoulders back and down. Lift your eyes up, okay? Look ahead, hopefully you have a window in front of you to look at. If you're looking at me and you're looking down, try to just glance at me and then come back to yourself, bringing those eyes back up. So option is to place one hand on your counter or you leave your hand off and we march in place. So we shift through our body weight, lift one knee, drop, shift, lift the other. The speed of your march and the height of your knees is up to you. Do you see a theme here? This is your balance work. So if you need to slow it down, do it. If you need to lift those knees a little lower, do it. If you're like, oh, I got this, this is too easy, lift them higher. But when you come up higher, be concerned and make sure that counter's there because it's going to pull you off balance. But what I want you to really focus on through these knees is the shift in your weight through your core, through your abdominals. You're doing great. 45 seconds. All you. Go for it. All right, done with marches. Moving on. We're going to do some abduction, which is a fancy way of saying leg lifts. So you may face your counter here, placing your hands on it. I'm going to face you because it will be easier to show. So pretending my counter is right in front of me. I'm going to load one leg with all of my weight. Put it all on there, lift your chest again, roll those shoulders down, eyes up. Holding on to my counter, I'm going to take my opposite leg and I'm going to lift it up and set it back down. And lift it up and set it back down. Now something I want you to notice with my foot, 
is that my toes face you. I almost want you to think about lifting through your heel. Give one more. And then we're going to equal out our weight, find our balance again, load the other side. And we lift and set it down. And lift, good. So you might notice that one side is stronger than the other. Making sure that that stabilizing leg is not locked. We keep it going. Hold, shift that weight, find your balance. Load the first side again. Here we go for five and four. Toes are pointed at me. Three, core tight, chest is lifted. One more. Set your foot down, equal out that weight. Load the opposite leg, core tight, lift for five and four. You have three. Two left and you are on your own for 45 seconds. One more. Keep it going. Your pace, five each side. Great job on those abductions. You might be feeling those hips a little bit. So if you couldn't make that whole 45 seconds, that's okay. It gives you a goal to work up to. That's a tiny little group of muscles that I'm asking you to work. We're going to take our legs and we're gonna work on hip extension. So we're gonna face our counters again, getting those hands on the counters, getting those feet right under those knees, knees under those hips, Knees are soft. Roll your shoulders back and down, core tight. Placing our hands on the counter. I want you to shift your weight to one leg, like we did on those leg lifts. We're going to pick up one leg and lift it straight back and tap it down. Now you notice when I lift my leg, my chest stays up. So if you lift and you hinge forward like this, then you might be lifting your leg too far for you. So you really want to focus on squeezing those glutes, lifting your chest, core tight. Let's go ahead and set our foot down here. Shift your weight onto that leg, opposite leg lifts, and we bring it down. You might have more range of motion on one side versus the other. A lot of us are like that. I would say 100% um, of us are like that. So don't beat yourself up if you can't get one leg high enough. And set it down, shift your weight, equal out those feet, make sure you are back at your home base. Shift over to one side, lift your chest, and lift for five, and four, three, two, give me one more here. And we set it down, Shift your weight all the way over. Take that left leg lift for five. And four. Three. Two more. Last one here. And we set it down, equal out your weight. Make sure you feel okay. And we start again for five. I want you to continue this at your own pace. Keep that chest up, eyes forward.
Okay, I know I'm asking a lot of those hips right now, huh? We have one more move we're gonna work on today and that's the squat. So if you have a sink, this is when you will want to be at the sink. You might need to get those fingers over the edge to give yourself a little support. Everybody must hold on on this one because I want you to take those hips back behind you. And if we don't hold on and we squat, we lean forward. I want our chest lifted. So we grip onto our sink. We make sure those feet are anchored to the floor in our alignment, right under those hips. We have equal weight across the bottom of our feet and our knees are slightly bent. What I want us to do is keep our head high, sit back in those hips, and we squat down. Press into your heels and rise up. You do not have to go that far. This is still hard. What I want you to think about though at the top is to squeeze your hips, squeeze your abdominals, sit down, lift, press those hips forward. Not with your hands. I'm just very handsy when I teach. So we sit back and we rise up. Let's do that two more times and we rise. Next one, we're going to hold at the top and hold here. Good. Let's do that one more time and then I'm going to let you do it on your own. So we set up here, lift our chin, shoulders down, sit back in those heels and rise up and down. Good. Now, we've taken the focus out of those hips a little and put it more in our thighs. Yes? You've got this. You're going to give me two more here. Last one. Hold at the top. A little shake out with those legs. Last set is on you. Pick your pace. Pick your depth. Go for it. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had a great time and I hope you're feeling those hips after these six exercises. That's not a bad thing. That means we're getting stronger. We're building those new neural pathways. I hope you have a wonderful day and catch me on the next video.